Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and in this video, I am going to show you why, as you go through menopause, you struggle to lose weight and what you can do about it. Because one specific hormone is declining as you go through that menopausal process, and that's throwing everything off. So I want to show you how you can regulate this hormone and how you can start to drop weight again, how you can bring your energy back up. Because again, hormones work like a team. So when you understand the players on the team and what their functionality is, you can truly change your symptoms with lifestyle, lifestyle alone. So excited to share this with you and uh, enjoy. Okay, we're back at the hormonal hi hierarchy. Let's dive into estrogen and, in and insulin. They are intimately connected. So if you are not familiar with the hormonal hierarchy, go back and watch the video I did called Fasting and Hormones, where I talk about the hormonal hierarchy. It is so important that those of you that are over 40, those of, and this is video specifically for women going through menopause, or if you're a man who has a loved one that's going through menopause, this is the perfect video for you to inspire others around you and for women, for you guys to, to learn. So one thing that we know is that hormones all work together like a symphony. They are, it is very difficult to say I'm estrogen dominant, so therefore I'm gonna have to work specifically on estrogen to bring estrogen down. It is really hard to say, oh, I'm going through menopause and I don't have enough progesterone, so let me rub some progesterone cream on me and see if that raises my progesterone up. It does, it's not that simple. There are several hormones that have to work together. I talked about it on my fasting and hormone uh, video. So go back and watch that so you know what the hierarchy of hormones are and what you need to work on. In this specific video, I'm gonna talk about the estrogen and insulin connection. So let me start off. I'm actually, I got two charts up here that I'm a visual learner, so I like to draw things out so that you guys can get it locked in your brain. Um, let me start off with what's happening to us as we start to age. What does menopause really mean and, and what exactly chemically is happening to us? So there are three phases of menopause. There are the, is the premenopause, or we call this like perimenopause. There is in the middle of it menopause is what I call it as like in the menopause madness. And then there's postmenopause. So from all the research that I've done, all the women I've talked to, all the experts I've talked to, we tend to clump premenopause pre and perimenopause together. I personally don't like those two terms clumped together. I think that there are three distinct uh, S, uh, hormonal declines for women. Um, I think that somewhere in the 30s and 40s, as we get closer to 40, we are getting some decline of estrogen and progesterone. So you are starting to see those hormones go down, but it's between 40 and 50. To me, this is where so many women, their he your health gets off track. And part of that is because look, the pink right here, that's your estrogen levels. This is what your estrogen is doing. Your estrogen is pretty high. You're losing some progesterone in your 30s, but your estrogen is pretty high until you hit your 40s. And then your estrogen is doing this up, down, up, down. So some days you have it, some days you don't. The closer you get to 50, the more that estrogen is declining. Now, estrogen is protective. It protects you against other cancers. It prevents you from osteoporosis. It protects you from heart attacks. And what I'm gonna teach you on this video is it also protects you from insulin resistance. So as you move closer to 50, you're, as your estrogen goes down, what we know is when estrogen declines, there are two major shifts going on. The first, as estrogen goes down, insulin goes up. Think about that for a moment. So as you lose estrogen, good estrogens, your insulin is going to start to elevate. So this means that you are gonna hold on to weight a lot easier, which is not fun and not fair, right? But your weight loss efforts are going to be more challenging. 
unless you lean into things like fasting and keto, which we'll talk about in a moment. But as you move into menopause, into the menopausal madness, as you go into postmenopause, you have your estrogen levels are going down, leading you to insulin resistance. The second thing that you were seeing with this decline in estrogen is it's causing a dysfunction in your mitochondria. Now, on this channel, I've talked a lot about mitochondria. And the thing about mitochondria is they are the key to your health, your energy. They make your, your mitochondria make ATP, which is your energy. Um, your mitochondria helps detox your cells. Um, your mitochondria is like the control center. We used to think it was DNA. It's not DNA anymore. It's the mitochondria that controls um, the, the entire functionality of the cell. So as we move into menopause and postmenopause, our insulin goes down, our go, uh, insulin resistance goes up as our estrogen goes down and our mitochondria become more dysfunctional. What does this mean to you? It means you struggle losing weight, you have no energy, you don't heal from things as fast as you used to, um, and that overall, so many women are not thriving. Now, I want you to go back and think about you in your younger years, you know, all the, the lifestyle stuff that you were doing in your younger years, that worked okay because you had estrogen. You had estrogen protecting you, but you don't have estrogen now. So you're gonna, the things you got away with, the lifestyle you got away with in your 30s and even your early 40s, you don't get away with the closer you get to 50 and over because as estrogen goes down, insulin resistance goes up. Now, the other thing we're seeing is that when estrogen's going down, insulin's going up, is not only, like I said, are you damaging the mitochondria, but we start to see that it puts more strain on the liver. Go back and watch the videos I did on, on opening up your liver detox pathways. Those become very applicable to the woman who is beyond menopause, like in the middle of it and beyond. They cause you to gain more weight, right? I mean, we've experienced that. Um, and they cause you to, to lose muscle. So it's this decline in estrogen that creates this chemical reaction that creates all of these problems. So what do you do about it? Okay, well, there's really, it's pretty simple. And a lot of you guys um, are really um, already doing a lot of this, but I just want to reiterate it. The first thing, for you in menopause and postmenopause, the fasting lifestyle is imperative. If you want to keep your weight where in a good place, you're going to need to make sure that you've adopted a fasting lifestyle. So um, now, if you still have a cycle, if you're in the middle of the menopause madness um, and you still have a cycle, make sure you're following my protocols around eating and, and cycling and fasting around the cycle that you do have. We have videos on that. My team will splice them in here so you can find them. Um, if you're postmenopausal, fast all you want, like fasting and you've and you've holding on to weight. The I see this in our in our online community so much that the postmenopausal woman has discovered insulin resistance because estrogen went down, but she comes to fasting and she drops weight really fast, which is great. So you're gonna want to adapt a fasting lifestyle, okay? Second thing, and, and we have seven fasts in here, so know that that's there, um, that, that there, you don't just have to not eat. There's a lot of other things you can be doing. Okay, second thing, adopt a keto lifestyle. Now, we call it ketobiotic, and keto, it's crucial that you understand why we call it ketobiotic, ketobiotic, and it's crucial for the menopausal woman because keto alone doesn't typically allow enough vegetables to feed our microbiome. So you guys that go into those 20 grams of carbohydrates or you're stuck on the carnivore diet, that is not good because you need to feed your microbiome. There is a part of your microbiome called your estrobilome and it helps regulate your estrogen. Well, your estrogen's already going down, so if you don't have those bacteria to help take the little bit of estrogen that you have and help to make it more effective, then you're, you're doing more damage. So a ketobiotic lifestyle is imperative for the menopausal woman, so make sure you're adopting that. Last thing, those mitochondria, they are incredibly important to you at this moment in your life. 
so that you may have not had to think about your, your mitochondria in your 20s and your 30s and earlier, but as you get closer to 50, as you move through menopause, you have to think about your mitochondria. Your mitochondria like some very specific things. Your mitochondria loves ketones. So fabulous. We, if you adopt a fasting lifestyle and a ketobiotic lifestyle, you're gonna be making a lot of ketones. So make sure you're making ketones. Second thing, your mitochondria loves good fat. So make sure you're ditching the bad fat and that you're adding in the good fat. And the third thing is you've got to pull the toxins out of your mitochondria. I see this so much in our clinic that again, the lifestyle that you used to get away with, the toxic load you used to get away with, it worked when you were in your younger years, you didn't notice it. But when the hormones start doing this, when they start going up and down, it signals for specifically heavy metals to come out of your tissues and go into your cells and they start to damage your mitochondria. So you've got a toxicity damage to the mitochondria and you've got an estrogen dam that's causing uh, a change and a damage to the mitochondria. So really important that now for the menopausal woman, detoxing becomes something that you want to implement into your lifestyle. We can teach you how to do that. So if you want information on how to learn how to detox for your left, rest of your life, just put group detox in the notes and we'll get you that. But for that, this time of life, it is now time to start detoxing so we can heal those mitochondria. Now, let me finish up with this thought because I know you, a lot of you are asking this. Isn't estrogen bad? Don't we want estrogen to go down? And the answer is yes and no. We have bad estrogens and we have good, good estrogens. So you want the bad estrogens to go down. So you make those go down, uh, make those go down like through knowing what beauty products you're putting on your skin, detoxing yourself, staying away from plastics, eating organic, get those bad ones down through lifestyle. That's really important. I mapped this out in my new book uh, called The Menopause Reset, and we'll send you a digital copy for free. If you just put menopause reset, we'll, we'll show you how to get the bad ones down. But there's a good one. And you don't want that good one to get too low. And that's what happens as we go through menopause is that good one gets too low. Well, there's a way to eat, to build up, and there's a way to live, to build up those that good one. And that's what we're teaching. The, I, I mapped it out in my book. I'm also going to teach you in my next reset. It's called the Women's Metabolic Reset. And in that one, it starts March 15th. I'm going to show you exactly how to bring this insulin up, the good one. I'm mean, sorry, the estrogen up, the good one so that we can regulate insulin. So I'll be doing that in March 15th. If you wanna join me in that group experience, just put Women's Metabolic Reset in the comments and we'll make sure that you get the information and you can join me in that experience. But that you're not going crazy, there is a reason. There's a reason that you're holding on to weight and it all starts with lowering estrogen. You become more insulin resistant. So let's teach you, let's work on these two pieces when you can bring these up and you can bring insulin down, bring estrogen up and insulin down, wow, you will drop weight and feel so well. And I, if you're somebody who's been following me for a while and you have had that experience, just tell your story in the comments because so many people will gain inspiration from that. Okay, I'll either see you in the Women's Metabolic Reset um, or get a free copy of my book and enjoy it and, and implement it. I wrote it and, and I'm guiding women through it because I wanna change your life. I wanna make sure we don't build disease. I wanna help the menopausal woman with this ins insulin resistance. It's too important. This is now the time to take care of your health. Love being on this journey with you.